What's up everyone, it's Sean here, and today I'm back to review the Under Armour Sling Flex Rise in the Anthracite colorway. First off, just want to give a huge thank you to Under Armour Canada for sending me this pair. The official colorway for this shoe is Anthracite and Zinc Grey, and they retail for a price of 100 US dollars or 140 here in Canada. So this model is available on underarmour.ca if you are located in Canada, so be sure to check them out. So this sneaker gives you that perfect blend between street style and performance. So the entire upper of this shoe is made up of Under Armour's Threadborne Knit material. So the color of the knit is done in both anthracite and zinc gray, and the pattern of the knit is quite distinct too. So for example, on the midfoot, you can see it's just basically horizontal lines running along the length of this area. And then on the toe box, it's more like a crosshatch pattern accented with these horizontal lines running around the edge of the toe. Similar to most shoes with a knitted upper, this means that the shoe will compress to your feet and form really well, giving you that nice sock-like fit. I did want to point out that certain areas of the knitted upper is backed with some additional material underneath it, giving it a much more rigid feel. So for example, around this midfoot area right here, and also along the bottom of the back heel, it's basically fused behind this knitted exterior, meaning those specific areas aren't going to be as flexible and stretchy as areas like, for example, the toe box. Found on the midfoot of both the lateral side as well as the medial side, we have these four strands of string basically looking like thin laces. They start from the base of the shoe and extend all the way to the top, basically serving as the lace loops for the laces. And what this does, according to Under Armour, is it's supposed to give you a more customizable and locked down fit. The laces on these shoes are done in a flat style in dark grey, and there's accents of a lighter grey found within it. On the lateral side of the back end of the shoe, we have this Under Armour logo done in this glossy black finish. And then taking a look at the back heel, we have this fuse or plastic-like material with the Under Armour logo found in the center, along with this heel pull tab. These come with this removable Micro G insole that has Under Armour branding on the heel. So this shoe sits atop this Under Armour charged midsole. And what this is, is basically a dual density foam. So this top layer of the midsole done in this darker gray color, this is a much softer feeling foam. And then underneath this, we have this off-white colored foam, which is much more firm in comparison. So by having this setup, you're supposed to have the best of both worlds. It's supposed to give you that nice plush feeling when you're just standing, but when you need that impact protection and responsiveness, this bottom layer is supposed to provide that. As we take a look at the outsole of the shoe, this is done in a combination of foam and rubber. So the rubber overlays are these light blue areas. These are added in certain targeted areas to give you that additional durability on the shoe. We also have this Under Armour branding right in the middle of the heel. From a sizing standpoint, so these run pretty true to size. So I wear between a 10 and a 10 and a half in most sneakers. Under Armour Canada sent me these in a 10 and a half and they fit me perfectly. So as I mentioned earlier, this is gonna give you that very nice snug sock-like fit. Especially around the midfoot, it is quite snug, but this toe box area is much more flexible and stretchy. In terms of the comfort of the midsole though, this was actually quite stiff. I personally didn't feel too much of this top layer of this charged foam, but if you're someone that prefers to have more ground feel when you're wearing sneakers, or you just prefer a much more firm setup, then this is definitely gonna be a shoe that you'll like. With this firm cushioning setup, it feels very stable and secure underneath your feet. So now let me lace these up and show you guys how these Sling Flex Rises look on feet. Overall, I feel like Under Armour did a pretty solid job with this shoe. From a design standpoint, this is following the current trend of having that sock-like knitted upper. And from a performance standpoint, this feels like a very solid shoe and a shoe I definitely can use at the gym. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of these Under Armour Sling Flex Rises. Once again, these are available for 100 US dollars or 140 here in Canada. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give me that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already, and be sure to give me a follow also on my Instagram at SGO8. Before I sign off, just want to give a huge thank you once again to Under Armour Canada for hooking me up with this shoe, and until next time, I'll catch you guys in my next review.